Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm showing you how you can create this soft pink glass look. Uh, perfect for any occasion. I'm gonna link all the products that I have used in the description box in case I'm going too fast. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video and follow me on Instagram. I'll link that my handle in the description box as well. So let's get started. I always use my Fenty Beauty primer. It is the best primer. It's so hydrating. I top that up with the Clarins Multi Active Day Cream and just putting that all over my face and my neck. To give my skin an extra hydrating boost, I'm using the Nip and Fab Bee Sting Fix Repair Shot. It just firms up the skin and gives a good base for the foundation. I do want a glow on my base, so I am going in with the NYX Liquid illuminator and I'm just gonna put that all over my face but I am gonna concentrate it more on the high points so I'm just adding a bit more glowy <laughs> effect on my cheekbones and on my forehead just everywhere that I would highlight uh, with a highlighter so just to give that extra glow through all <laughs> the layers basically dabbing that in and it's gonna buff out with the foundation anyway so I'm not worried too much about whether it's soaking up in the skin so yeah next I'm going to jump straight into the foundation I'm using the NARS all day luminous foundation about three or four pumps depending on the coverage that I want that day and I'm just buffing that out with the foundation brush from Real Techniques and yeah, just blending out the um, highlighter that we've put in. And then I'm just gonna set everything before we um, conceal with the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus setting spray. For concealer, I'm using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is the shade Ginger, it's a lighter shade, and I'm gonna put that as my main highlight. Um, so under the eyes, the forehead, bridge of the nose, cupid's bow, the chin, and just under where I would usually um, contour. And with the darker shade, I'm just going to concentrate that on the under eyes, just so it's not super white under the eyes. And just buffing that all out and straight into the contour, I'm using the Fenty Beauty uh, Matchsticks contour. Um, this is the shade Truffle. And yeah, contouring the usual areas. And I'm just going to buff that all out with an angled fluffy brush. I think this is from Mire. Using a smaller um, fluffy brush, this is just an eye blending brush. I'm going to contour the nose with that. And setting everything, setting the cream contour with my chisel cheeks um, contour kit by Berry M. And I'm just going over all the contour areas. And setting everything obviously with the fix plus and for highlight I'm using this better cosmetics highlighter this is the shade opal and ugh, I absolutely love this highlighter and especially putting it under the brow bone and on the forehead as well it just gives an extra oomph to my skin I am then going to use this blusher from MAC, this is Love Cloud, it's just a very subtle pink flushed colour that you want on your cheeks. Jumping into the eyes, I'm using this um, soft ochre, ochre <laughs> paint pot by MAC as a base, as my primer, and I'm going to set this with this shade from the Too Faced uh, Natural Love Palette, and it's just a nice bone colour. I'm jumping straight into Chickadee. This is a sort of yellowy colour. I'm using this as the first base colour of my crease line and I think it just blends in really nicely with any pinks or purple shades. So I'm using this palette right here from MAC and I'm going in with the orange, the lighter orange shade in this palette as the main crease line colour. And I'm concentrating obviously the crease line and the outer corner and I am bringing that color into the inner corner because now we're using the darker pink shade and it's just easier to then blend in the colors in the inner corner with this shade and yeah just concentrating this darker pink shade in the inner corner mainly and the outer corner
for the lid I'm using the shimmery pink shade and it's just gonna be a halo effect um, eye look so just concentrating in the middle of the lid Next I'm going to um, smoke out the lower lash lines, I'm using the brown shade and the darker pink shade just to have some more depth to the eye look. Next I'm going in with the Huda Cosmetics liquid eyeliner, it is an amazing highlighter and it's just super dark and just the consistency of it is amazing and it's so easy to do a wing eyeliner with this um, because the brush is actually like a pen eyeliner so it's just so easy I am then using this Mina definition mascara whenever I use this I never feel like I need to use any false lashes because it gives you a false eyelash effect it just combs out your lashes to the max basically and it's just I highly recommend this mascara definitely go and get yourself this mascara it is amazing I am then gonna use this MAC Clear Brow Gel to set my brows first before I line it and I'm using the Mina um, eyebrow pencil to line my brows and I'm just feathering out um, making a sort of boxed shape in the beginning and just concentrating it on the arch line I don't do much to my brows and I like to just long out the ends just a bit so my brows feel <laughs> longer and thicker and I'm just brushing out for it to blend together. For the lips I'm using this mahogany lip liner by MAC and then I'm topping it up with this uh, MAC lipstick it's called Giddy just because I didn't want it too burgundy and that is it guys this is my soft pink glam look I hope you enjoyed